This has been a very tough season for Lincoln City Football Club after being relegated into the Conference League. Next season, they'll definitely be trying to get back into Division 2. One man who would have revelled in this situation is former player Brian Heward. Brian was a very respected centre half, a real hard man in the heart of defence. So Brian, you played for Lincoln in the early 1960s, what was it like playing football back then? Well very different to what it is today, that's for sure. In, in those days we didn't have the gorgeous stadium that they have here today, but nevertheless they had all the outside uh, stands which, uh, uh, we, which give it atmosphere, and in those days it had a lot of atmosphere and there was a lot more people at the matches. So that made it a little bit different in that respect. But in terms of the football, the football today is very, very fast. It is played by extremely fit men. And I've got to say that they seem fitter today than they did in my day. <laughs> Bigger attendance as local people was very much the order of the day. And what is more, I always found that by playing here at Lincoln, you were very much in touch with the people that are in the stands. You felt as though you knew them. And of course, during my period, the, the crowd were very kind and considerate to me. I didn't get too much hassle from them. Do you think that the game back when you were playing is more physical than it is today? Um, very definitely it was. In those days you could charge the goalkeeper, there was such a thing as a charge when uh, two players were running for the ball and there was a lot of tough tackling. I'm very pleased to say that it wasn't as nasty as it is today uh, but nevertheless you had to put up with it and of course once you were injured on the, on the uh, ground <laughs> they never brought in on a substitute for you. You had to uh, so it was a question then of keeping going if you could. So you had to be fairly tough to keep going. Do you think that overall footballers are more pampered today? Well, yes, I've got to say they are. And uh, I think they're taking advantage of it. Uh, for instance, uh, they get paid very, very, very well, in my opinion. But in, in my day it was so different because every player was... Uh, controlled by having a £20 maximum uh, wage per week and of course that was enhanced by bonuses etc but for myself I was a part-time professional and, and I was earning £18 a week in those days so I was doing well because I had another job as well. For a while you played for Scunthorpe who sadly have also been relegated now. What was your highlight of playing there? Well I've got to say that uh, it must have been when we played in the FA Cup at Liverpool, I was 21 at the time and I just made myself a regular player in the team and of course playing at Liverpool was going to be a big occasion and on that particular day we had 57,000 people uh, in the ground and I'll always remember the fact that I used to kick in with the goalkeeper and I put one over the goal, over the goal and it went into the cop end. <laughs> we never got that football back from the cup end, I can tell you. That particular game, we had a, a, a great start. We, we got in front, and we were actually leading 3-2 with, uh, uh, with about a couple of minutes to spare, and a cross came over, and it was between me and Billy Little, who was playing centre-forward, centre and he's a Scottish international. And I thought our goalkeeper might have got it, but he didn't, and Billy Little did and that was 3-3 so that was a, a draw at Liverpool which was a great result for us because then we had to take them back to Scunthorpe and have a replay which we did ultimately lose. It sounds to me as if the career of football is every young man's dream. How was it for you? 
I think it uh, was very special for me because as a young boy I used to dream about playing football. My pal and I, Derek Foster, who's recently died, uh, I always dreamt that he and I would play fullback for Lincoln City when we were at school, just over the road there at St Andrews School in Scorer Street. And of course to, to become a professional at 18, I was very proud to do that. And you do so, uh, you know, because you know that a lot of people are watching you. They deserve for you to perform well, and that's what players must grasp today. It was a real privilege to spend some time with a man who had a boyhood dream. And Brian Hewitt lived that dream.